from the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube on the ground with Accenture Labs 30th anniversary celebration. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special Cube on the ground presentation of our coverage of Accenture Labs 30th birthday party. They've been in business for 30 years. Accenture uh, doing some great things from here 30 years ago to the future. The future's all about AI, blockchain, you name it, virtual reality, augmented reality. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Our next guest is Joe McHale, who's the Chief Revenue Officer of a company called Meta. Welcome to a conversation here at the Accenture Labs party. Thank you, John, and congratulations to Accenture. So they have this theme, magical, but really it is a magical time. I mean, I'm at my age, I've been in this business long enough, it's like, I wish I was 20 again, because the technology is really amazing. Augmented reality, you guys do a lot of new stuff. Tell us what your company does, and you guys are doing some really cool stuff. Absolutely. Um, we're really pioneering in augmented reality. It's, uh, for those who don't really understand augmented reality, kind of it basically overlays um, digital data and virtual objects in the real world. And with that comes uh, really a change in paradigm of you know, what's possible. Uh, our, uh, our forte is really in, uh, we're being a spatial interface company. So we're not only changing how the fidelity of the images you see in, uh, in augmented reality, but how you interface with them naturally based on neuroscience. Joe, first, take a step back, because a lot of folks here in Silicon Valley, they all know what AR is or yeah. augmented reality, something analyst relations were. But augmented reality is a big future. Yeah. I always say AI stands for not artificial intelligence, but augmented intelligence. That's what software is doing. What's your definition of augmented reality? So augmented reality is uh, the ability to um, really change how man-machine uh, interface around information, objects outside of 2D panels, uh, and bringing the digital into our world. Yeah. So talk about your company, Meta. You guys do yeah. some pretty cool stuff. I know we don't, your CTO's not here, which we'll get him on the cube soon. If you're watching, we'll get you on. But there's some cool stuff going on around visualization. I mean, we cover big data since the day Hadoop was born in 2009-10 time frame. But now visualization is key, but now when you go to the next level, 3D, holograms. This is the future. The user interface is going to be augmented, whether yep. it's at work or at play. Yep. What are you guys doing? Absolutely, many things when it comes to uh, data visualization. So uh, first of all, it's um, the ability, I mean the, the third dimension obviously adds, adds a new way to, to see data. So obviously everything from going from a 2D uh, data analysis, you add a dimension that gives you uh, obviously added productivity. Um, but in addition to that, you know, visualizing concepts, so mind mapping, uh, being able to, to correlate ideas uh, and not just data points, uh, and again, product uh, design cycles and so on, productivity increases. Uh, thirdly, uh, ideation. So, so taking all that data, putting, you know, getting a 3D model with all its complexity into a simple form that we can collaborate around and, 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 uh, and design. You know, the next generation of users that are coming through the system, if you will, young kids, they're gamers. Yeah. They, they love graphics, and so we're living in kind of a gaming culture, if you will, not to say gaming literally, but per se, the, the interface is, very rich in graphics, very mm -hmm. rich in data. Yes. How is that going to impact CIOs? Because they're looking at an old world of IT, put the servers on the racks, move the mm -hmm. packets through the network. Mm -hmm. Now they have an opportunity with mobile and now a global internet to put things out there like AR, yeah. like blockchain, smart contracts, AI. Yeah. I think it's it's definitely a an area that all CIOs should be looking at today. Uh, in, in many aspects. Number one, just like mobile, kind of bring your own device came into the office space, uh, there will be uh, obviously an impact from uh, not just uh, productivity solutions in the office, but as we get to consumer and AR, uh, dealing with that and the implications of that. But uh, on the a more important pressing issue for CIOs would be uh, the fact that this is the future of compute. So. Uh, there is not a need anymore for 2D panels or in the near future for 2D panels and keyboards and, and, and mouse interfaces. And how does that change IT support and again, data sharing, collaboration and all these uh, different And we aspects. see Siri voice activated, that's pretty classic, but yeah. you know, throw the old movie Minority Report out mm -hmm. there where you're using your hands out there in the 3D space. Yes. This is an interface. Yes. It truly is. How and real is it? I mean, come on, tell it's, us. It's real, it's here, it's now. <laughs> you can get a demo today, yeah. and uh, for the audience, you know, soon, we can definitely invite you and get a demo. Uh, it is here, so we're able to interact naturally today. Uh, we're on second generation product. 
Uh, we have the widest field of view, which truly gives you immersion. So you can walk around a hologram, you can stretch a hologram, you can uh, surround yourselves with unlimited uh, 3D images and uh, panels and windows. So what's the applications? What does this mean for the, 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 the typical person out in the real world, whether they work in an enterprise or a business or a consumer? Absolutely, so early adopters right now are uh, in business, enterprises, uh, high ROI type of applications in product design, so uh, rapidly iterating on concepts and ideas, uh, getting all the way to sales and marketing, so once you have that design, yeah. then how can you sell it uh, and, and demonstrate it, uh, all the way to maintenance, training, et cetera. That's the early adopters. Education is next, uh, very close by. Uh, in the near future, and then uh, of course we're you know we're thinking and trending towards <laughs> consumers. So what does shopping look like in the future? Check and out Meta, it's a cool company now. Accenture Labs having their party. And Accenture's been around for a while. I'm old enough to remember Arthur Anderson, the big six accounting firms, Accenture Consulting. Yes. These guys are not um, Johnny Come Latelys. They're doing some cool stuff. What's your role with Accenture Labs? And you're on a panel here at this event, yes. kind of a celebration, you know, bringing the magic to life, talking yeah. about really the magic of AI and cool things. Yeah. What are you guys doing here, and what's Accenture Labs doing? Yeah, absolutely. So we've been in collaboration with Accenture Labs for a little while, and, and uh, it's been very, very uh, exciting and productive. So number one, we're aligned on vision and strategy. So currently, it's productivity. We're looking, you know, we're, we're supporting productivity. We're an augmented reality platform. And so, for example, we've done a study together where we measured uh, uh, basic instructions around a Lego, this was for the public, uh, around uh, building a Lego uh, piece uh, use in our headset using three-dimensional instructions versus 2D uh, instructions, and uh, Accenture kind of brought that magic of quantifying productivity, and it, and it was proved to be 20% faster. Uh, with respect to uh, instruction and training. So Accenture has some chops here, technically. Absolutely, absolutely, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then in the future, I mean, they're a big part of, of our ecosystem. This is, we're an enabler, we're a spatial interface. What company. is the ecosystem for AR? This is a good question, because people want to know, like, it's in a new emerging area. Yes. Young kids, again, love this. Yes. New software developers are coming in. What does the ecosystem look like yes. in this new AR area? And who, what's the hiring profile? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Uh, so. Let me, let, me, let me focus on ecosystem. We, I would say 50% of our current customers are developers, so the development community is, is adopting AR and uh, they're building some really interesting and cool things. Uh, but the ecosystem comes from uh, developers, content, so there's, you know, there's a lot of content developers, you know, high fidelity 3D models, um, enterprises who are consuming all of this, and then uh, channel partners, system integrators such as Accenture that are you know, seeing the opportunity and bridging that gap for a lot of our uh, corporate customers that are still forming their strategies. Joe McCall here, the Chief Revenue Officer of Meta. I got to ask you, what percentage of your employees and customers are gamers? High amount, medium, low, got to be a lot of gamers. There, there are some. Um, obviously we integrate <laughs> with Unity and um, uh, a lot of our developers have come from that world, but our customers, we're a productivity company and, and, and a lot of our customers are corporates at this time, yeah. but of course we're interested to see what gamers can do in our platform. So what are the low, what's the low hanging fruit for enterprises with, with respect to AR? Because this is the question. Yeah. No one debates the future. Mm -hmm. They see some augmentation coming on, obviously wearables, things yeah. of that nature, but software's got to power it all. What is the use case for enterprise? What's the low hanging fruit? The lowest hanging fruit is uh, 3D CAD visualization uh, and the product design cycle. That's just the lowest hanging fruit <laughs> right now, and then training and education. You guys excited? We are very, very excited, and uh, the market's huge. All right, final question for you. For the folks that don't know the AR world, what is the future of AR going to be? What's the impact of society? What's the impact of daily lives of people with augmented reality? I think there, there are many, many impacts. Uh, one of our core values is technology uh, serving humanity. Uh, so for us, it's very important to, you know, to, to remove the barriers of devices coming between you and me and being able to just look at content directly and, and, and interact with that. So that's, I think that's going to change how we think, how we collaborate, uh, and then, you know, of course, life sciences is huge, so there's a lot yeah. of uh, companies starting to look at you know, the future operating system and, yeah. and the empathy that can come between a doctor and a patient looking at a case instead of just talking. Uh, uh, you know. 
Joe, great, thanks for coming on. I'll give you a quick uh, last word here. Yeah. What are you guys looking for as a company? You hiring, what's the strategy, what's the plan? Give a quick sound bite for what you guys are doing. Absolutely, we are, uh, we're growing, we're growing. The market demand is huge and uh, uh, we are hiring. We're looking for you know, engineering, smart engineers that are, uh, that, that are interested in the space. Uh, we are growing on the, uh, on the sales and marketing side. We are uh, you know, absolutely interested in, 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 in being part of our family, but I would say the biggest interest is in ecosystem partnerships. And how long have you been around for? Uh, five years. Five years. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank Accenture you. Labs. 30 year celebration where all the magics happen. That's the theme. They got a magic show. We couldn't get video of that. They wouldn't let us record it. Joe from Meta, Chief Revenue Officer, thanks for sharing uh, your insight here on theCUBE. Appreciate it. Thanks, John. Okay, more coverage here at Accenture Labs, next 30 years. This is theCUBE coverage. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching.